Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, are you gonna let me film? Are you gonna let me film? Oh my goodness. Um, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you that are new, hi, welcome. My name is Jackie. And for those of you that are returning, welcome back. On my latest video, you know that there's a new family member. His name is Milo. If you haven't checked it out, please do. I talk all about this little guy and everything I've learned being a dog mom so far. So uh, for today's video, by the thumbnail, I'm gonna be talking about my weight loss journey. I know my outfit really doesn't go with like the working out vibe, but I was doing some makeup stuff on Instagram and I thought I filmed this video. This is actually my second time filming it. Um, so very conversational, just chit chatting with you guys. If you guys don't know, I've lost 22 pounds to date. Um, I managed to gain some weight during COVID and also pre that, so I moved to New York, didn't really follow a diet, gained some weight in college. Let's normalize weight gain and weight fluctuations because honestly, that is the reality and um, yeah, that's something that I've struggled with and it's something that's very common to me, you know, in my life. I've had a lot of weight losses and I've had a lot of weight gains and guess what? We're normal, we're human and yeah, let's normalize that. But um, so for today's video, I'm going to talk about how I managed to lose weight this time around and um, how long it took me, what I did, what I do now to manage and to kind of maintain my weight. And so, yeah, if you're interested in hearing that, please keep on watching. Please subscribe if you're not already. And let's jump right in. He is literally going crazy right now. So sorry for the background noise, but it all really started with a doctor's visit. I could not believe that I had gotten to that weight which i don't really want to disclose just because i don't believe a number should really define you but in this case i just wasn't comfortable i was putting into my old clothes um i used to be like a two to four in clothes and i was always that person that just denied my you know where i was i was like oh it's probably shrunk in the dryer oh it's probably just you know excuse me but just blaming other factors and just never really taking it into consideration so Anyway, so from that day forward, it was like October or early October and I started cutting out all processed foods. So this included everything that came like in a plastic in a package that um, was already pre-made. I cut that out. That was the first step and I was willing to do it because I still remember I was like, I went grocery shopping and I had all kinds of junk food and I was like, well, do I eat it? Like, do I eat it and then start my diet after or do I just toss it all away? So I ate it and then I started. Um, but so yeah, that was my first thing. Second thing was drinking lots and lots and lots of water. So if you guys haven't seen my Amazon haul, I have a gallon of water that I purchased from Amazon and that helped me stay on track. I kid you not, just drinking water helped me in my weight loss journey so much. So a gallon of water a day, um, help me really just detox my body and just keep it keep that weight loss momentum and take in mind um, I've heard it's like I think it's 80% diet 30% exercise or I don't know it's like most of the percentage is your diet and it's true you guys I realized this once I was going through my weight loss I started just with my diet and I didn't start incorporating exercise until like January once I was back in Jersey and I had already managed to lose like 12 to 15 pounds or so. Um, and this was all just by diet. So for breakfast, I would do oatmeal um, or I would do eggs. And um, I wasn't fond of like cutting out all fruit, but just take in mind they do have a lot of sugar. So I would do like banana. I would do apples because they're really good at like targeting that belly fat. Um, it wouldn't really snack and if it was it would be something healthy so it'd be like a popcorn and keep in mind i'm not like starving myself like i'm doing it the right way but I love that for me. <laughs> um but again it was just all portion control and cutting out processed foods so then lunch come around i would just start to make my own meal so chicken turkey meat anything you have to make it yourself and you don't realize how much you're eating like if you order it you're like well i can order it out you know i can order some chicken but you don't know what condiments they're putting you don't know how that chicken is being processed like there's no better thing that you can do for yourself than to cook at home and i know it sucks and i hate cooking like to be quite transparent but it's gonna help your body out so much so cooking meals at home i didn't really have 
like a calorie count. I'm not very fond. I've been that girl in the past where I've counted calories and it's just not my thing. This time around, again, I wanted to be knowing what was in my body, but I wasn't gonna be like that controlling. Like I just ate five calories for breakfast. I ate, or not five, like I just ate 300 calories. I can only eat like, you know, like it's not about that. It's just eating healthier and knowing what you put in your body. So for dinner, again, either like turkey meat, tuna. Um, I, I did tuna a lot, tuna is super good. Any type of seafood, really. Um, what else did I do? Yeah, I was really, just really fond on chicken and turkey meat. And again, I had one cheat meal per week, so I wouldn't really starve myself, but I wouldn't feel guilty either. So portion control, just because I have a cheat day, it doesn't mean I'm gonna go eat a whole cake. You know, I'm gonna have a slice of cake, but I'm not gonna eat the whole cake. So that definitely helped me out. I would look forward to the week. Um, I would, yeah, I mean, really, it's just like the first day you start, you just want time to go by so fast, but trust me, just stay positive, um, stay focused, and the results will come. So the way I measured results, and I know like a number should not define yourself, but I wanted to make sure, because I was such in denial for a long time, you guys, that I could not lose weight. That no matter what I did, you know, this was gonna be my new body, um, and that I couldn't lose weight. So I, you know, weighed myself once a week and I started seeing a pound shut off per week. I started seeing sometimes two pounds shut per week. And keep in mind, this is all just diet, water, eating pro no processed foods, <laughs> um, and knowing what I put in my body. So portion control. Um, I did do like no eating past like eight for the first couple of months. Um, and yeah, that's really all. There was no secret to it. This is what helped me out. And I feel like most of it was just eating bad. Like I was eating pizza and then maybe I was eating like Mexican food and junk food and like a little bit of everything. And without re even realizing, I was putting on the pounds. So come around the holidays, I still ate. Like I said, I'm not going to have like the whole buffet, but I'm going to have a plate and I'm not going to feel guilty about it. Um, so yeah, the way I started getting, I did not do any exercise throughout the holidays. So yeah, maybe I put on a pound or two. It's normal. It's okay. Normalize this. Like we, like we have one life and we have to enjoy it. And just because you're making, you know, newer decisions doesn't mean you can't accommodate to the, you know, certain thing for Thanksgiving. Like I had my meal. I even had like leftovers the next day. And it's really all about portion control. And like I said, it's the holidays. You're going to enjoy time with your family and you're going to eat. So, um, yeah, same thing for December. Come around January, I started, I went back to Jersey. I started working out again. Um, and this is where I feel like, I don't know, like I started my diet, my weight loss was the same because like it was still going down like one week or two uh, pounds a week. But I just felt, I guess the difference is when I started exercising, I just felt better about myself. I felt happier right after my workout. I felt more confident. Whereas opposed to diet can only do so much and like you can only feel good about it so much. But when you're, you know, getting endorphins, and I think that's what it's called. Um, but just getting that weekly workout, especially because I was working from home, it just helped me out so much. Made me, made me feel so much better and I started incorporating the 12 through 30 workout from Lauren Geraldo and so yeah that really helped me tone my legs did a lot of jump rope jump rope is really good for calorie burning fat burning and um, a little bit of weight and again I feel like weight loss I guess there's different end goals but it's not really like a way up it's more like a you know like a yo-yo well, not yo-yo but it's like you're going good, then you go, you have like a little backtrack, then you're going good, and then you have a little backtrack. And the important is just the consistency, just to keep going. And I noticed that, you know, till now, it's one of my main things. Like, I'm not, well, there's days, like I'm human, I'm normal. Sometimes I don't feel like working out. I don't go to work out. Sometimes it's that time of the week, I don't go work out. And sometimes I don't feel like working out for like a week or two or three. But then I come back and it's just the consistency really and I try not to beat myself up. Sometimes I listen to my body exercising and sweating it out. Like I don't even take pre-workout you guys because first of all, I don't need it. Um, and second of all, it's just like sometimes when I'm feeling anxious, okay, let's go to the gym, you know, let's sweat it out. And that's really the best thing you can do. And um, what I'm trying to say is just like, eating healthier and just exercising just helps you out so much 
um, and your quality of life. Like I want to be healthy. I want to be happy um, for myself, putting myself in front of um, And it's easier said than done, you guys. Like sometimes, trust me, life, life happens and you just want to eat and you know, just remind yourself of your future self. And if it and if it doesn't work, you know, just continue the next day. And it's okay. It's normal. We're human. Um, and so yeah, now I give myself a little bit more liberty to eat a little bit more of what I want. So whether that be snacking, eating a little bit of processed snacks like rice cakes, or you know, still keeping it healthy, keeping that healthy lifestyle. I still only try to give myself one cheat meal a week, but sometimes, like I said, I listen to my body, and if I want two cheat meals, then guess what? I'm gonna do it. And like I said, there's easier days than others. At the end of the day, just keep it going. Consistency is always key, and that's really what helped me out to this day. I still drink a gallon of water. Maybe I don't finish it, but I still drink at least half of it. Um, and so keeping it going is what's gonna get you there. It's what's gonna make you you like stabilize and luckily I've been able to maintain my weight I'm so grateful so fortunate knock on wood <laughs> um, but so it took me October November December January February March April May so I'd say like seven eight months to lose like 22 23 pounds and I wouldn't have it any other way it's been great I've now been able to maintain my weight I've learned a new lifestyle and I want to keep it going forever like there's no better confidence than feeling good in your own skin and yeah so thanks for coming to my TED talk I hope some of these tips helped you guys out please let me know down below if they did or any thoughts comments questions um and yeah i'm trying to think if i missed anything else but really that i think i covered everything and if you guys are going through it just remember we're all human we're all women like normalize let's normalize it and not stigmatize that we all have to look a certain way whatever you feel comfortable with in your body that's what you should do see you guys in my next video um and yeah bye guys